Victor. Uh, just enjoying a different pen, really. Um, we've just moved him because he's got, he's got a problem with his penis. Um, so he's quite swollen, kind of lumpy looking. Um, so we've just, I don't know if the sow's bitten him or he's just overdone it. So we put him in a pen on his own just so he can have a bit of a rest, basically, as much as anything. Um, we'll see how he gets on over the next few days. But he seems to be enjoying it. Look how handsome he is, sir. He's a nice looking pig, isn't he? So we've probably got a bit of OTT on the straw, but we want to make sure he's nice and clean. Um, and he's got something nice and soft and comfortable to, to lie on, really. See how he does in the next couple of days. So one short. And the founder just a bit attached to the brambles. Cut some of the brambles. Hoping she might just come out. So you can see she's out. And, well, put her way back in. She's got quite a lot of um, brambles stuck to her where I cut her. So I've been trying to um, use a fence post to tamp in a gate post at Summerhill. It's not really working, so I'm just trying to make something a bit sturdier. Um, so I've just got an off cut of steel on the bench. Um, yeah, so I've marked it. I'm just going to cut 100 mil square out of it. It's thickish. I uh, don't know what that is. About six, eight mil or something. So it's reasonably heavy. Another off cut of tube left from. I'm actually left from making the creeps in the shed. Um, it's about an inch and a half or something. Um, so I'll cut maybe a six foot length for that or something. Um, and then just weld it into the middle. I'm probably going to give it a try. I may end up welding some webs on it or something, but I probably won't do that today. Just see if it works without. Um, yeah, there we go. see um, getting quite a lot deeper than I did with the post without any real effort so it should work all right so the gates on I need to tweak it a little bit and I need to put the wire back on the post but at least it's kind of looking like it's heading towards secure anyway kind of losing the daylight and it's about to chuck it down with rain so we're going to quickly check the sheep might move them and then I need to go and check the pigs again Just come into the field with the ewes, although we seem to only have some of the ewes, which is intriguing. Where oh, the rest are? Find them in a second. There's not masses of grass left, so we're just going to move them into this field down here. Untied the string. They should be fairly keen on going to the new yeah, they seem fairly keen on going to the new grass. They seem to have about half of them though. Which is interesting. Well she but I'm pretty sure they've been in the field down by the looks of it. Yeah they have. At least we found the rest of the ewes and they're still kind of contained. The downside, they broke in somewhere. They'd already been, which is a bit pointless because they were the best of grass, but they seem to be retrieving themselves now. Just notice that tree's got a cracked branch. It's supposed to leave the dead wood as part of the high nature status stuff. Um, it's very near a footpath, so it might be. A little bit dangerous. Here we go. Oh, seem to 
be enjoying the grass anyway. We seem to have to count 55 and there should be 57, so we'll give it another go. And it's not the best video, so. So, thanks to someone leaving the footpath open, obviously, footpath you can see is quite well walked. Um, but thanks to someone leaving the gate open, it means the sheep have been backwards and forwards between the two fields, probably several times each which is several hundred animals moving through if you think about it so we've got 57 sheep they've all gone through three or four times it's you know it's a lot of sets of feet going through a fair, you know standard sort of 12 foot gate which means we've kind of poached it all up really because someone can't be bothered to shut the gate behind them which is really quite frustrating because it's something i really wanted to avoid um joys of people that are too stupid to shut a gate, I think. So they're all here now. Um, well, they were here before, I just missed two. Not the easiest things to count when they're moving around. Um, but yeah, they're enjoying the extra grass. See, there's quite a lot of shelters, quite a lot of trees at the far end. Decent hedges, or well, most three of the four sides. We kind of made a start getting the gate up yesterday. Um, just need to kind of put this fence back and brace a, a post in, so we'll do that now. Okay, so a little bit more fencing today. Um, well, I'm sort of gating really absolutely hammering down with hail, I don't know if you can really see that really, but um, I don't know. I don't see. You can see the floor perhaps. Um, anyway, so got the gate up yesterday. So just walk in to check the sheep and weirdly, there's an open cockle shell on the floor, which obviously, see we're not that far from the sea, but we're a long way for a cockle to leap, so presumably some sort of bird has brought it up here to eat, which is... Oh, I didn't know they travelled that far with their cockles, but there we are. Thought you interesting. Come on! Go on! So we've just moved them from Maros back to the Prosedes. Um, I don't know if they remember it, but I think they were... So the first field they were all in after they were born, actually, I think. Um, they probably don't. I don't know if they remember it or not, to be honest. But they have been in here before. Uh, so there's a bit of grass. This is a fair few rushes, but um, still, it's all right. They work it out. And there's no real grass left where they were, so this is kind of the next best option. One of the Eleonora sows. She's probably going to farrow today, I think. She's put a water trough at the back of the pen. It seems to be part of most of their nesting kind of routines. So we'll see how she does in the next kind of hour or two.
expected. Uh, first big form today. Well, as expected, we expected him so yesterday. Um, anyway, one down. There'll be quite a few more to go with a bit of luck. Literally just come out. So we'll go today literally kind of behind the wall, well, about 20 or 30 foot away anyway. The concrete pads are going down for the new shed. Um, it's quite exciting. So very careful. She's put a water trough up there, which is, as I said earlier, kind of standard nesting practice. Let's put another one down. Mm. Yeah. Sure sort of have a few more now. Just a little bit of a readjustment. Mm. Just right. Hoping she would face the wall and back end would face the gate, but I've got a feeling she's going to do it backwards. I'll just be able to see the little guy underneath. Slightly at the danger zone a little bit, but he might move eventually. There we go. He's literally only a few minutes old, so he's just trying to work out what's going on. Very careful, actually. He sits down very, very slowly, or lies down very slowly. He's jammed a bum back against the, the wall there, but other than that, it's looking good so far. The second one is still attached by the cord. The moment the sow won't let me go in there. And she keeps doing that and wedging her bum up against the wall, which is really awkward to help her. Um, so, she'll have to persist a bit at the moment, I think. So I've managed to persuade her with a little bit more straw to um, move the bum out of the corner, which gives the pigs a bit of space to come out, which makes it a bit easier. 40 minutes between the first and the second pig, 40, 45 minutes. Which is a little bit longer than I'd like really. Um, the second pig is just, just behind it. The nearest one is the one that came out first, the one that's behind is um, the one that came out second that was kind of a bit stuck. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll go a bit easier now. She's got a bum away from the wall. This little guy, I picked him up off the floor, he's just literally maybe an hour or so old. Um, I think I don't know if his mum stood on him or led on him, I'm not quite sure, but he's um, he was very cold on the floor, he sees struggling a lot. I've got no other way of warming him up but to put him off by the heater in the truck. Um, so he's going to start to come on, better luck. No, it's not looking that promising. We got back to the truck and he's definitely warming up now. You can see he's, he's got a bit of an attitude about him. He's not, 
not quite warm yet, but he's definitely picking up a bit. So hopefully, another few minutes, we'll try to put him back with his mum. Or her mum, I haven't actually checked, but the piglet's mum. Ah, yeah, he's, he's getting there now. You can see he's trying to stand up. So a couple more minutes of warm up, and we'll pop him back in with his mum. Okay, so we're just walking back to this pig's mum. Very dark in here, I'm not sure I can really see it to be honest. The little guy's on his side at the moment, he hasn't got up, which is a problem. But I can't go and help him at this point because I do his mum almost certainly reject him. I'm just leave him alone for a bit and I'll come and check on him in a little while. He is trying. If he can if he can get up and get with the others, he'll do it. Taking a chance, I've just put him on top of the pile of piglets. So he's got the warmth of the others now, except for one who's on the back wall. He seems, he or she seems fine. You see, it's sort of slipped down. He's the one not nearest the camera, but just behind that one. So hopefully, they, his brothers and sisters will keep him warm enough that he'll manage. You can see he's got a bit of energy. Hope, I'm hopeful he'll do it. Really hope. But to be fair, this sour has struggled a little bit. She's normally such a calm girl. She's normally really great with her pigs, but because, see, the steel frame was going up today, and um, obviously the, so it's quite loud, you know, and it's not ideal. Um, not a lot we can do about it the steel frame's been last well, years in the coming to be honest um, and literally it was it's now on ever basically so this little guy's gonna have to just tough it out I hope, I'm hoping they'll keep him warm enough really really am so it's about um, I don't know quarter to six or something these pigs are a few hours old now, less than less than 24 hours old. And um, oh, all seem okay at the moment, which is good. So Eleanor is just having a breakfast. So the little guy seems to be doing okay. So just, just come into the field to check the ewes. There's a random ah, there's a random sheep stuck over there, and by the looks of it, a dead seagull, which is a little bit random. But we're going to sort them out now. Well, my sheep definitely didn't eat its head, so there's obviously some sort of predator around. Maybe caught it when it was on the ground, or maybe it's already dead. And at its head. But I'm assuming that's a fox. Maybe you're wrong. Um, but I guess that's, you know, there's quite a lot of habitat here because it's obviously high nature status, you can see. High nature status means there's rules on grazing and rules on hedges, um, which is great really. It means we've got big bushy hedges which provide shelter for the sheep, although it does mean the dense ones can get stuck in it. Um, and it also means um, the wildlife has got plenty of habitat, so whether it's rabbits, foxes, badgers, um, mice and voles and all of the small mammals. Um, which obviously is um, kind of the point of this really. No sheep. So 
So finally had a go at finishing the kind of main entrance at Summerhead if you like, like the first gate you come to. Um, the guy we used to move the bales had to rip out the gate because it was a 12 foot gate and it was just too small with the, the bend on the road to get his trader in. Um, in the summer this was. And it's just we haven't really needed the field so we've just kind of put it off and put it off. Kind of we'll need the field in the next couple of weeks I suppose. Um, so kind of the wire got a bit butchered really. Um, but anyway I've kind of just about managed to secure it, put a new post in and um, put the gate on and a, a few half round posters rails. Um, it's not pretty but it should do the job. The only other issue is it's a bit of an awkward angle, I don't know, you can't really see probably but um, it's, it's, I don't know what angle it is but it's, it's certainly not square or flat or anything. Um, put a couple of new rails on over here. See, I've used screws because they're stronger, and I'm right next to the truck, so it's easy. Because um, these were rotten. Just replaced what's here. Um, the issue is I've put the... Um, I've got to make a little weird, extended bit of ra uh, rail to put the big staple on for the gate. Um, issue being, I'm used to the gate I make. This is an IAE gate and the catch that's as fully open as it goes actually open the gate at the moment which is really quite annoying so i have to try to bash it over a bit i think so this branch fell around the time we took the land over i think um we kind of moved it to the corner so it's out of the way a bit you can see it's got some sort of stuff growing on it Some of you know what this is. I'm not sure what varieties they are. You can see it's obviously it obviously works. You know, leaving the dead wood obviously does promote growth of stuff. And obviously things eat that and things eat that and on we go. 